Hello and welcome to the Velocino Cycling Podcast, where the best stories have not yet been written. He's back. Oh yeah, they haven't been written because <laughs> nobody was riding. No, no, absolutely. Uh, yeah, no, I've not done much riding, but I'm back. Hello, He's everybody. Back. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm excited too, but wait, wait. <laughs> it's our Christmas episode. <laughs> Excellent. And look, we even have, to, for all the viewers at home, uh, we have the uh, traditional German Stollen cake, Christmas Stollen, is that what it's called? Uh, yeah, Weihnachtsstollen. Yeah, yeah, we also have some mince pies, and what the hell are the heart things? What are uh, Marzipan Herzen. Oh, no, no, actually it's like Lipkuchen Herzen. Oh yeah, that's what, exactly what I thought it was. Yeah. yeah. Mike's actually eaten most of it. I've eaten all of it without actually knowing what on earth it was. Yeah, so good, I would sit in it. You would... Sit in it. Yeah, that's a German saying. If you like something, it's so I'm sure much. we've had this before. He said, oh, sits in it, sausage or yes. anything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Right. Good. I would. I would so sit in it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Mike. Welcome oh, back. Welcome back. Indeed. Have you missed us? Oh, so much, so much. I have really missed the Velocino Cycling Podcast. You guys riding. Really haven't done much riding at all. That, if I'm completely honest. Yeah, we were considering to rename the podcast actually to two obese and one cyclist it would be actually better if we were like four people because then we can call it two obese to cycle uh yeah mm. but i don't know if you could call Gemma obese i don't think that's the right way to do it that's true yeah yeah, yeah. i <laughs> totally as you can see missed the memo on the christmas um outfits mm. I think your emergency Santa hat is t- t- looking good i think that my uh, neil's i'm impressed yeah, I am like b- about what exactly? The look. The look is the good. The overall like look. The, the bow tie. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. It's Filipino colours. You do look like a giant toddler, but it's uh, <laughs> it's really good. To be fair, I am a giant toddler. <laughs> Mike looks like he's going to present a game show. Oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Hello and welcome tonight to Velocino Squares. Also, he doesn't have any pens. It's like it makes it better. It's a... Yeah, it's yeah. a very long. It's not. A, it's not a suit jacket. It's actually a dressing gown. Yeah, like yeah. A, yeah. How do you yeah. call them? The, 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 I don't know. The, the oh, uh, like ones. a house coat. A smoking like a jacket. Smoking jacket, isn't it? That was what they called them. Oh, kimono. A kimono. <laughs> is it kimono or kimono? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think so. I think that's, that's what they call it. No, th- this is uh, just for. Uh, I have got my pants on, but this is also. Uh, yeah, yeah. I bought this. Um, when it fitted me, I, I hope you it's, bought it's, it. Yeah, no, I bought it at a point when it actually fitted me. Now it doesn't really quite fit me. Can't. can't I was really, I'm really impressed. You came through the door and I was like, "Wow, you well, sexy little beast!" Exactly. <laughs> I didn't exactly. say that. Well, I just said hi. It, it gives people that initial uh, initial impression, and then you get up close, you're like, "Ah, oh, it was just fifty quid from." Like, <laughs> I like it. I really like, I like it. it. Well, thank well you. Well done, much. guys. I've had to have an emergency hat. It's yes. beautiful. Yeah, I mean, you look the most Christmassy. With accidentally, the emergency, actually. yeah, I didn't Indeed. realize at all. Indeed. Well, look. Um, I guess. Uh, I guess what have we missed. I mean, this year is mm. our. Uh, yeah. Sorry, let me say that again. Uh, so, what have we missed from each other? What has everybody been up to? Because uh, it sounds like not everybody's been riding uh, as much as we had done. Certainly, over the last couple of years. So, uh, Jim, what, how, you are the one that's been doing the most. I'm sure. How, what what riding you been up to? Loads. Really? Obviously, mm. loads. Like yeah, me. um, just like me. <laughs> I saw you the other week, actually, didn't I? or the other month. Yeah, you did when you asked me if I wanted to take my top off. <laughs> it was, I didn't actually ask you if you wanted to take your top you off. Did. You yeah, definitely yeah. did. You, you said he wanted to offer you his jacket. What no, he just said, "Do you want no. to take your top off?" Well, look, I saw Jem. It was one of those days where it started off cold and then got a lot warmer than it looked. And Jem said, "Oh, yeah, I've got." I'm, I'm I'm a bit too hot, and it, I th- I assumed you were actually wearing a jacket, uh, and then I said, "Well, look, if you want to give me the jacket, and I'll take your jacket back, and you can ride on." And then after that, you pointed out that was your only layer. It's my only layer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, st- I mean, I still offered to take the jacket, but she just didn't yeah. said no. No. Anyway, so I have been riding. Yeah, it's a constant for me. You know, I I I love it. Um, my I'm lucky enough as well that. My life enables me to have lots of time to do riding. It's just different, isn't it? And I, yeah, it's a constant. Um, cool. Have you been doing much on uh, Zwift, or how much? How much is the balance this time at the moment? Um, so what I haven't done is as much in real life racing, and as much actually as much racing. I haven't done as much racing. I did race this weekend actually on Zwift for the first time in forever. It's just as hard, by the way, guys. It's not changed. It's awful. <laughs> it's still awful. Um, 
but I've just been maintaining, I'd say, and keeping up. Sometimes it's it's still hard, like, oh, come on, let's get on the bike, let's get on the bike. But I find it, for me, a way to, like, relax. It's not relaxing yeah. when you're on it, but relax, and I really am good with a schedule. Yeah. Um, you are very efficient, just in general. Just in general. But I did get a coach this year. Oh, did yeah, you? Yeah, which has made a big difference. So it's taken away... We won't call it stress because we all do this for fun. But some of the stress or worry or, or am I doing too much? Am I not doing too much? What should I do today? Oh, I'm racing this weekend. It's not, not my stress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, and it, it wasn't stressful. I'm, I'm just going to refer to it as yeah. what, what it was stress. Um, it's taken that away from me so that now I just concentrate on my riding. Oh. I look at my diary, see what I've got to do. I mean, this is a bit more involved in this, I'm sure. You want to pluck the name of the coach? Yeah, Mark Powell. Oh, the legendary Mark yeah. Powell. Of um, reference uh, podcast circa 2000. Oh, he's been, on, he's been three on a few. Times, three times, Mark. Mark, if you're listening, fantastic hello. Uh, hello. Mark, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I miss you. Heard. Come back. Yeah. Uh, Come back. Well, absolutely. I get to speak to him all the time. Yeah. Oh. Well, do you know what? I guess we often uh, extol the virtues of a coach. In fact, we extol the virtues of Mark Powell in particular. Mm. But uh, yeah, so that's a great way to, if you're you're out there yourself when you're finding it hard to uh, sort of maintain much of a pattern, get a coach, yeah, gives definitely. you a schedule, something to stick to. That's and really it's good. applicable for you. Like I didn't need the motivation. I'm always on the bike. I'm okay with that. That's not my issue. My issue is like, oh, just trying to fit it around stuff mm. or working out. Usually actually if I'm doing too much. So he's really helped um, just maintain a bit of balance and uh, I don't know, um, Maybe more appropriate training, not oh. too much up and down. Yeah, absolutely loved it. Awesome. And just taken away that whole not sure what I'm doing thing. I just turn up and ride my bike. Love and, do it. You, and how do you feel when you're racing? Does it feel, do you feel better prepared? Do you feel more, I mean, don't get me wrong, you're not going to feel better because we always just go full, full on. So you're always going to feel crap at the end. But are you, are you feeling the benefits of it in some Yeah, some no second guessing of, oh, I'm not sure what I've done this week. Did I do the right? Did I do too much yesterday? Just stick. I just stick to the programme. I'm quite black and white like that as well. I just stick to it. So if he puts me something in, I do it. If it made my race better, fantastic. If it uh, hindered it, we'll chat about it and I'll move on and do the next thing. So for me, it's just made it super simple. Brilliant. And yeah when you've got somebody with so much experience of different yeah, types of athletes really as well good. that's pretty cool it's, uh, it's really pretty good. cool and what about you mr schnatt how much <laughs> uh riding have you been doing do much racing much riding yeah, much on zwift where you've been up to i have a coach now too do you no i don't <laughs> 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 well um i think yeah i i have to be 100 honest i think i somehow underestimated the how how difficult it is to maintain life when you have two children. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought it's just, oh, it just goes on like it was before. And then they just like, you know, yeah. ho hobble about, you Can know, I like they would be knock, ab knock about that. Yeah. So just, just for long time listeners, yeah. listeners of the Velocino cycling podcast, if you go back a couple of years, that point that we all went, nah, that's not going to happen. When Niels was like, no, we'll let the kids fit in with us. Just like everyone, everyone was waiting for this moment. It has finally arrived. Yeah, it has arrived. So I think this year was, but, particularly difficult um especially when you want to maintain your daily day job um try to run the podcast um try to also not just to run the podcast but also want to Im 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 increase quality Im we have obviously moved to youtube we will talk about this a bit later in the podcast but um then also try to find the time to maintain your uh, relationship to um, and also look after yourself find time to go riding your bike because that's what everybody loves doing right otherwise we wouldn't invest so much time in this podcast and in Velochio in general and um yeah I, I think this year has shown me the boundaries like where how, how difficult it actually is um so i wish i would have ridden more this year however now for next year i have a couple of of, of targets but and, and i started uh, i'm back on the turbo trainer i'm not on zwift anymore though oh where, might, are, you? where are you <laughs> might be controversial but I actually went back to trainer road because um, I was trying to remind myself, like when I was relatively fit on the bike, what was it that I was doing? And at that time I was using trainer road. And the reason for that was like, it's super simple. I just put in like, hey, I have an hour of 40 or like 40 minutes or whatever to burn. 
I can watch something on YouTube and then it just tells me like, okay, now go up, now go down, now go up, now go down, harder, faster. And I think for me personally, it just works better without all the fuff and, you know, <laughs> having different... Changing your outfit. On exactly, Swift. all this... What bike stuff. am I going to use? Yeah. Do you know, super geeky, and you may take this out, mm. Train Road Now has that adaptive training as well, so you don't have to FTP test. You mm. probably have to start somewhere. I haven't been in it for ages, but it will work out, oh, Niels, you've not been on... Just an example. You've not been on the bike for a couple of weeks. <laughs> um, we're going to adjust your training so it, it does it for you. It doesn't oh, keep putting in really hard workouts. Or if you are doing really well, it will increase the level for you. It's, it's much more complex than that. But it's using like AI technology and it means you don't have to test. So it's it's an amazing platform. It's you so use good. both, right? You use Zwift and Trainer Road. So, so just, just for, for you listeners, not that we are like, you know, we're not like saying like, Swift is not good. Um, you just have to find out what's the best for you. Yeah, like, it's for I, you, I just really. found out. Yeah. When I started, I used Train Road. I love a graph. Mm. Like I just followed it, loved it, fantastic. Then we all know, like, moved to lockdown and I wanted to be a bit more social, so I moved into Zwift. Then I used both for a while where I was following a graph, but my little avatar was riding around in Zwift. And now I have a coach that my I don't need a training plan to come in from Trainer Road, so I still ride around as with. But yeah, I love it. It's really good, and the technology in it is fantastic. Yeah. It's a really it's it's so flexible. To, you can just say I only want to ride twice a week, yeah. and I've only got thirty minutes, and and you can even go on to it and say, oh, tonight I've got forty five. Give me the forty five minute option. It's, honestly, if you want to start or just improve or change your training i, I cannot recommend trainer road enough if you're okay following yeah. the graph and do it but you can do our yeah. stuff in the background yeah i think yeah. for me also all this gamification stuff it, it just doesn't work for me really yeah, like, um, works for you. It's just too much stuff going on and for me i i need to get fit in a very limited amount of time so it works well um and um again it, it might look as if we might be sponsored or whatever, like no, because no. you talk so much about it. But this is just like our own opinion, um, and um, we we pay all for our sub subscriptions. But I think that will make me fit for the uh, targets that I set myself next year. So I'm going to ride uh, Tour of Flanders. You are riding with me, right? Yeah. So that's going to be cool. It's going to be brutal, I guess. Are yeah. you riding it? No. We got. Are you still riding a bike? I st I still own some, some bikes. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen you on your bike for ages. Mike. Do you know what? I, honestly, I haven't been much on my bike since about uh, late August, beginning of September. Mm. Um, and that's because. Uh, you're I, a rugby player now. You're a rugby player. Yeah. Have you started a rugby podcast? No, I haven't started a rugby podcast, not yet. But uh, no, there's, there's, there's many very good ones out there. Um, you could no, be the best one. Well, I, I, with that jacket, with, with this jacket, jacket. they would oh, yeah. love it. With this jacket, what what could go wrong? Uh, yeah, no, I am um, got. Um, I used to play rugby a long time ago. Uh, I coach rugby, uh, kids rugby, and somebody. So you play in kids rugby? That's yeah. a bit unfair. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I just smashed through all of them. It's great, yeah. uh, great for my ego. No, um, and then somebody convinced me that I might want to go down and do a bit of training. Yeah. So I went down to do some training, thinking I'll just train because I won't ever play because I'm too old to play. And uh, then somebody said, oh, we're a bit short. Could you sub for the first I game? thought I said, do we need someone no. <laughs> short? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I also just thought like, we need somebody who's short. <laughs> well, actually, the position I play is is normally held by shortish people. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, I went along and I said, well, yeah, I'll sub. And if, you know, not thinking I'd actually get on the pitch, I might get five minutes at the end of the game or something like that. Anyway, uh, 60 seconds in, someone gets injured. And then I play 79 minutes uh, full contact rugby. <laughs> and then, and then since then I've played every week. So yeah, uh, yeah. That's fantastic. And Do you know that, what life that squeezed out the bike? Unfortunately, I think this is kind of proof that life. It's going to sound cheesy, but like ebbs and flows a bit, and it yeah. doesn't mean that you've forgotten your cycling, or you may never come back to it. It's just for this period of time. It's not what you're doing as much, and you may. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it, yeah, I'll be honest, it's just been really September to uh, Christmas time and it's yeah. it's been, um, it's ended up being quite a lot of rugby. So uh, yeah, I need to balance it back out with a bit more riding. So I'm going to do loads of riding over Christmas. That's my f my plan. Yeah. Um, heading away with family for Christmas. I'm going to take a bike with me. Uh, what and get do out you miss? If I'm, if I'm honest, it's the, um, 
it's I mean you talked about it being relaxing yeah. I think it's almost like when you're on a long ride, there's a little bit of the meditation part when you're on your own, mm. where you get into a rhythm and it's just a long period of time that you're out there and you, your, your brain just has the time to relax and, and decompress. Whereas with rugby, it's very much, you know, your, your maximum two minutes on, you know, 60, 30 seconds off kind of thing, like, like high pace stuff. So, um, and the other thing is actually uh, the social side of it. Yeah. Because don't get me wrong, social. rugby is brilliant for social side, but there's that ability to get out on a social ride and that's kind of stuff that I've really missed, you know, riding around. I talked about it with friends the other day and um, we were talking about social riding. For people who, who didn't ride, actually, I was talking about And I said, you know what, when we were on those bikes, um, we don't have our phones or anything because we can't, it's impossible we're riding. So whether it's one hour, two hours or more and you're with one, five people, whatever, you just talk to them, just yeah. talk. All that time, that's all you do. You're riding, but that's all, well, eat as well. Yeah. You just talk, and that's oh, it's fantastic. I always love it. Yeah, yeah. and that's and that's the kind of bit that I miss. And that's uh, again, why over Christmas, my plan is right. Need to rebalance it a bit. Mm. Do a bit more, uh, bit more riding. Yeah, we, yeah. So we might do a ride on the twenty fourth of December. That might be the day when this show comes out. Uh, yeah. but um, just to Chilton Velo. I know I can't make that ride, yeah. unfortunately. Oh. Uh, oh. That's because I'm playing rugby, rugby. in the morning. <laughs> 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 uh, no, I yeah. think it's absolutely fine. I mean, this, this is what Gemma said. Like, just because you say you're a cyclist doesn't mean you're not allowed to any, do anything else, right? So, no, exactly. I feel exactly. we're in, especially us, we're at an age where we all have to, like, you know, like <laughs> take your chances as long as you can. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's my, my, so yeah, yeah. My chances of playing rugby are, yeah. are, are pretty. <laughs> Pretty awesome. limited, but uh, but so you you were saying your plan for next year? You got Tour of Flanders. What else yeah. have you got in there? Um, I, I will definitely go to Mallorca. Uh, so we did this now a couple of years running. Obviously, COVID was in between, but we, before COVID, we went to Girona. Then last this year, actually, we went to Mallorca, and then we go to Mallorca again this coming year with about fifteen people. Um, um, so I want to be fit because this year when we went, I, I struggled to keep up. It was not fun, and um, yeah, looking forward to that four or five days um, in the sunshine, going right. And then actually, I I, I run out a bit of um, of, of targets. I I want to do more gravel rides because this is I think I said it in one of the mm. previous episodes. This where I fell a little bit more in love with. Um, so I met these fantastic guys from Wild Cycles, um, which is like a local brand uh, who organized a trip. So I might do a couple of. Uh, things with them um they do like events like um wild whales where you oh yeah and they do the uh, king alfred way don't they they do a really I good so, yeah. uh, king alfred way with stop offs and stuff like that so, so yeah this kind of stuff i would like to do yeah i mean we're not sponsored by them but do check out wild cycles uh, yeah. they do some really good uh, sort of yeah. packages two three day rides going out and i have looked them up on my instagram because what i really like is yeah. um you do carry some of your stuff, but yep. they do send a Land Rover ahead of you to set Brilliant. up the camp. Yeah. So uh, if you do want a little bit more support rather than just roughing it, they can do that for you. Or yep. I think they can just do the full on, right, you carry all your own kit and we'll just, just be a bit of a guide. Also, I went riding with them and actually we I, I want to have them on the show. Uh, we, 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 we agreed basically to have them on the show, but then um, this year was so busy with on my side on my end so i will get them on in the in the really? show hopefully please still come on and so. that sort of sort of bleeds us onto a little bit like so that's what we've been up to which is uh not much mm. uh well two of us haven't been doing <coughs> a huge amount of uh riding but we've all been doing a lot of stuff yeah. um but uh, i think we've got the stats for the to how the podcast oh, yeah. has done so this is from the uh spotify wrapped like you get your own one if you're um Obviously, if you, you're on Spotify, it tells you all the different things that you've you've listened to through the year. And the Spotify wrapped, if you've got a show, it'll give you all the stats of where we fitted in for this year. So what were the stats? And I think this is quite interesting um, for, for those data ge geeks out there. And um, also, please keep in mind, we are on multiple platforms. And Spotify, to be fair, is not our most popular platform. Our most popular is actually, um, or, or most of our listeners are listening to us on, on Apple iTunes or Apple Podcasts, whatever it's called. Plus, we have now managed, um, since we now start putting stuff on YouTube, bear in mind, we're still dipping our toes in there. We are not 100% sure yet with about the, the video quality, blah, 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 blah. But we also gained a couple of new users there, and new followers there, which is really interesting. So basically on, on Spotify, we managed to become um, or get into the top 15% of the most shared globally. 
um, which I think of is what category? Um, Cycling in, podcast? No, podcast in general. Oh wow! So Top fifteen percent most so shared globally. Yeah. Wow. So, so the, um, most of the podcasts are. It seems to be like just listen, but you don't necessarily share it. So. Thank yeah, you, thanks brilliant. to our listeners. Yeah, it's absolutely thank you, everybody. Really That's brilliant. That's yeah, really good. So um, thank you so much. If you shared um, about about sixty um, percent via direct links and then uh, around thirty percent via Instagram. So don't forget to tag us because um, obviously um, we want to see what what, what oh, if that's you really enjoy good. our shows. Oh, so that's really good. Give me another stat, Neil. Go on. <clears throat> Here we go. Also, we are in the top twenty percent of the most followed podcasts on Spotify. So wow. Um, there must is be lots of really shit ones out there. Then I mean, yeah. sorry, I'm joking. I'm joking. That's uh, brilliant. It's no, really also nice. Like That's so, really good. basically, um, w- apparently, what it tells us that you are really committed to us, so we must do something mm. right. I know there's a lot of things wrong that we do. <laughs> As an example, <laughs> this year we tried a lot with audio quality, and I have um, a lot of our followers sending me messages. Oh. This episode was a bit quieter than the other one. Can you put the volume a bit up? So I think that yeah, was me. Yeah, no, not just you. But, uh, we, we are that's work- the best part. That, yeah, that's, that's the best sound effect we do. Oh, I love it. Yeah, carry on. But that's, we, so we are working on this. But this year we were trying with different kind of microphones, uh, with love microphones that are like uh, sit on the, uh, on the on the T-shirt and kind of stuff. So we so bear with us. Uh, we're still, you know, doubling along and... Um, hey, hey, top 20%. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah it's pretty good. good. Yeah. This is a German meme, like with yeah. talking everything down. Then um, our most listened to episode is the one with De- Dan Turner. Uh, oh, that was this year. Yeah, that was good. I spoke that was good. actually. Yeah. I spoke to Dan today. Oh, really? Did you? Not about the podcast. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that's actually quite good. So um, from in all the new listeners that we gained this year, fifteen percent of those came in via this episode. So they found us via him. So okay, but that 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 says that actually most episodes would have got a. Good chunk yeah. of additional listeners as yeah, well. Yeah, because it wasn't yeah. low. It wasn't, it wasn't like all of them came for it. But no, exactly. that's brilliant. And thank you, Dan, Thanks, for, Dan. for being entertaining. <laughs> so um, what else? Um, apparently, when you are listening to this podcast, you are um, c- categorized as the specialist. Your listeners are selective with the podcast they listen to, but they've got lots of love to go around. Once they decide they like a podcast, they are all in. Oh, yeah, that's good, right? It's so, very th- good, actually, yeah. that's a compliment to our listeners, not it to is, us. Yeah. That's saying that these guys yeah. are selected. Also, our podcast was listened in sixteen countries, and I think this is really remarkable. Sixteen? Yeah. I'm not. Hang on, I'm yeah. just trying to think if I could even think of sixteen, 16 countries. countries. It must be your sexy accent. Ah, oh, Zambia. That must be no Namibia. That's Namibia. Country. Namibia. There you go. That that must be the no. So the first one is United Kingdom. That's yeah. that's where we live in. Good. Mm-hmm. Second one's Germany, so maybe yep. like... Oh he was sharing my, it with German oh, friends. My family. Whole family, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's his mum, yeah. Austria, it's also... It's Is also, that you as well? Mum when, when she's on holiday. It's basically also, it's basically <laughs> Germany too. Um, oh, I can't say that. Uh-oh. Anyways, United <laughs> States, and this is all the people that just listen to What's us the one for, you can't say? No, the United States is all the people for all the beautiful uh, British accent. Okay, I, I, yeah. I just watched Love Actually yesterday. Oh, you watched Love Actually? Oh. The, you know this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colin Frizzle from Buzzledon, who goes to the yeah. US to find love, and but all the girls fall you, in love with him because you don't of his have to, you don't have you to, don't to explain it. To you us. don't have to explain no? the Maybe Love Actually to us. Watch it. Every, who's not seen Love Actually? Okay, what's I your mean, favorite? If I've seen it, then loads of people because I've hardly seen any films. So what's your favorite quote from the? That I can't remember that. You can't handle the truth. Oh no, is that a different film? I don't know. That sounds <laughs> like a Schwarzenegger <laughs> film. <laughs> that's, Die Hard. That's, that's from, that's from Die uh, Tom hard. Cruise. That's, that's <laughs> No, no, that's that's not from that one. Uh, Mine is eight is a lot of legs, David. Oh, right. I don't know. No, I don't have a favorite quote from love, actually. When the prime minister is coming to collect um, his new love, I don't know, I forgot his name, but her dad calls her Plumpy. But then they go to this nativity play, and the brother is dressed as an octopus. Anyhow, sorry. um, Carry on with the countries. So there we go. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. There's no swearing because this is. How do I? Sorry, I just uh, have to unlock my phone again. It's just um, been so oh, yeah, long talking about love, actually. And the fifth one is South Africa. Oh, yeah, cool. Good. We've got lots of friends in South Africa. We like yeah. South Africa. Lovely place. Um, yeah, fantastic. Well, look, that's some really good. Uh, that's really good what the podcast has done yeah. this year. And what was the last one? Um, for our follower gain was about 12%. 
Oh, 12% new followers. And that's pretty, that. pretty good. That's really good. Well, look, thank you to all our listeners for, for being part yeah, of that, you. part of this journey. I mean, I guess there are some things, though, this year. As we've said, I think we've all found that life post lockdown has yeah. caught up with us and yeah. suddenly yeah. taken over. Um, but I think we all found a little bit of a struggle this year yeah. to get us to, to do as many podcasts as we'd hoped. Really. Yeah. So to invite our guests maybe a little bit into like our brain spheres. So um, initially we were actually trying, we, we, th- we said, I think we could do one a week, um, one, one episode a week. But then the problem that comes within is, first of all, you have to manage your life. And second of all, you have to manage the life of your guests because you have to f- schedule guests yeah. in. Yeah, 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 and yeah. also you don't want to bring in guests, just any guests. You want to actually bring guests in. First of all, that you have an interest to talk to. Then the guest needs to have an interest in talking to you. And then also they have to have a story to tell that uh, our listeners, you, I mean, you follow us for a reason. And I guess the reason is that we are entertaining and you enjoy what listening. And at the moment we bring in people just for the sake of it, I think it doesn't really cut the cheese. Is this how we say it? Cut the cheese? Uh, yeah, yeah. Cut the mustard. Cut the mustard. Cut the mustard. That one. And I, I think it's about, um, for me, it's about, I've got to be interested in the guest. Um, I might not know what they're talking about even before you come on. I've got a bit of an idea. Um, but they you have don't, that's because you don't listen. Read the <laughs> don't read the messages. You don't read yeah, the messages. Okay, I don't read the messages. But that, that's because I like the, the element of surprise. Yeah. So I can, I've got a rough idea of what, you know, what they do. And sometimes, actually, they've really surprised me. We mentioned this earlier where I've thought that a guest... Mm-hmm. I, I maybe wouldn't connect with or wouldn't be the story that I would necessarily find the most interesting. And actually, they've really surprised me. I've been like, oh, wow. Do you know what? We have had some I, cracking yeah, guests on this, really this good. year, haven't we? I mean, um, I think it started with uh, Guy Stapleford, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and Guy was looking at his uh, Race Across America and some of the extreme stuff that he was doing. That was He was really inspired. Absolutely fantastic. But also, sorry, just to take this one little bit back, so in the end, we were trying to then get one per month out, which was still challenging especially during the summertime but yeah. it was, was mm. really good but as you said like so we start with guy stapleford and that was really really in, in yeah um, in fact he was sponsored by lucky saint yeah uh, was it actually but, sponsored by them yeah yeah which by a strange coincidence is what we're we're drinking did here we get all we these like from him or we just had no. it separate no 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 we just like it and buy it i uh, like it yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. we we bought all this um so if you run a beer, com- beer company and you want to sponsor us we drink quite a lot Alcohol free beer, but also alcohol free. It depends. Well, you don't because you, you would, Mike is off it at the moment, really. I'm currently it. never, ever, ever drinking again. But if you want to support the podcast, get in touch, uh, then you'll be able to stand here. Um, so, yeah, Guy Stapleford was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I missed it. It was just you two, wasn't yeah. it? I listened yeah, to it, was, it was such an interesting story because of his, um, you know, he'd had some, some challenges with alcohol and he found himself in a really dark place. and found exercise to get him out of it. And then once he'd got himself out of it, had, had used exercise to set himself further challenges. And then he was using the sponsorship from that to then help other people. It was oh, a fantastic. really lovely sort of story of, of, of how he'd grown. And I know that um, he was hoping to do the uh, Race Across America yeah. uh, and um, everything was going really well. And then it, I think uh, there was a few problems. Uh, I think there was problems with uh, travel, some of the bits fell through, and he just, just couldn't make it this year. So... A bit of illness as well, so he just couldn't make it this year. You I mean you travel, you train all those things up, and then it's things out of your control get in the way. But rather than try and do it, I think uh, he's planned to go uh, for for next year. So uh, yeah. Oh, I like hearing about where I guess of what they've been up to. I think I might know some information on some of the others. Maybe yeah. you have to get him back in. Uh, he was actually yeah, also yeah. one. I, I don't know, uh, guy. If you're listening to this, don't get this the wrong way. But I, one of the biggest surprises to me also. Because he has such a strong Instagram game and he has like quite a lot of following ship and a lot of people engage with him and like and I don't know I don't really know what I thought before, but he was so nice. I well, he thought he wasn't well, what do you think like he was gonna be nice? No, no, no. But I, I, I could imagine if you get like a lot of um recognition online that this must do something with him. Ah, uh, right? yeah. So he's very, very down like to a earth. celebrity status. Yeah, 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 yeah he right. Was, he was quite the opposite to that. He Exa- was, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So. Well, do you see that's something that I found fascinating about some of most of our guests yeah. is they have this real humbleness, yeah. uh, particularly yeah, those definitely. who do the really big extreme yeah. events. Like, you know, you talk to Guy uh, or you talk to uh, Chris, one of our uh, 
our previous episodes. Uh, and, you know, and these guys are, oh, you know, I'm just somebody who just works hard. I'm like, I'm just like everybody else. Yeah. Uh, we're like, wow. I'm, wow. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. But what you do is so cool. Yeah. You're so good at it. But yeah. But no, so Guy was the beginning. We've had a, a few more. Now, you guys interviewed Dan Turner, didn't you? Yeah. I wasn't there for that Really one. good, Dan, yeah. yeah. So he talked about kind of, I'm going to call it like a weight loss journey, but it wasn't really about... Yeah, he was quite round it, yeah. before, and now he's like um, more the opposite. Like really he's not, really, no. really, really, what, really strong. Rectangular? No. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like so Mr. Square, whatever. I, I, I mentioned before, like when I moved to England, I, uh, I owe him quite a lot. So he was, uh, I think, the first person that gave me a job. And at that time, um, I was quite sporty, and he was very round, and we p- almost went like <laughs> opposite directions, which <laughs> uh, is quite funny. And uh, yeah, a lot of following ship on um, on on social media as well, and um, it was just super inspiring. Like really, he just start from the get go, just go. I think he just went. It wasn't yeah. he like I just I just ran a ten k, yeah. and actually, for those of you. Maybe who have run a 10k actually realise how hard, like, I couldn't just run a 10k. I, I think I've I've just started to get yeah. back into running and it's a bit of a run and a, what, there's no way. And then he's like, yeah, and then I also with just plimsolls. ran a marathon. Oh, and his plimsolls or something. Yeah, yeah. he had to go to the, uh, the doctors because he was running on the plimsolls. Yeah. And they're like, no, no, you can't, you can't do that. That's running shoes. Oh, okay. And then, uh, yeah, also picked up, picked up riding. Did, it, did uh, He did an Ironman, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Oh, it was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, but we've had some fantastic guests oh, we, all the way through the year. Don't forget about um, our friend Neil Powell coming around, talking yes. with us about the highway code. Yeah, yes. That was, I think, um, one of the episodes that for me was super, super interesting just to learn more about it, but also helping potentially was- trying to educate some people. But also one of the episodes where I got most feedback for. Really? Yeah, in a positive and a negative way. So oh, um, people picking holes as to what the difference was in the, the yeah, so like oh no, you should have not said that. And like I think there were like parts where we said, um, yeah, I just I just go to the side and let the car pass, and then like no, you shouldn't advocate it because it's your right to be on the road. And I'm like, nah, yeah, but it's it's tricky actually. Those yeah. it's funny to think back. Those uh, the new highway code came out at the beginning of the year. I have to say. Um, in all the riding I did do uh, all the way through up to to mm-hmm. summer, uh, I've got I've got to admit. Um, I didn't see much evidence that anybody was paying attention to the new highway code. And uh, as a cyclist, I, I still just ride really defensively. If, to me, it almost felt as if it went the wrong way, the opposite direction. I, for me, since the new highway co- code is out, to me personally, it feels almost as if it is worse than before. But I don't know if it is now because of my expectation that is not met, or if it is that drivers are now like, Oh, I will show you. Like um, you know, like uh, I'm, I'm still in the right. Yeah, um, I think. Well, I, I think don't know. If, you know. So, so interestingly, we went back. Uh, if we go back a few years, uh, and we looked at um, oh, who was it who did the study or a uh, race from the north of Europe to the yeah, Dr. Ian Walker. Ian Walker. Ian Walker. Ian Walker yeah. Ian's name. Sorry. Ian, Ian name. Oh my, my goodness! Head. How bad was that? That's, that's uh, so, very embarrassing. So, Dr. Ian Walker talked about uh, an experiment that was done where they had people riding around dressed differently to see if uh, uh, cars, motorists would react in a different way. So if somebody oh, looked okay. really professional, the idea is would they like drive closer to them than somebody who looked really unprofessional, really obvious that they were a beginner, would they give them more more, uh, more gap? They tried somebody um, uh, to Dresses. make them look female versus male, and they did a whole load of experiments. <laughs> and at the end of it said to me, and the result was motorists don't give a shit. That they didn't make care any difference. Who you are, oh, really? what you are, what you're doing, they'll just seem to behave in exactly the same manner. Oh. So interestingly, even though the highway yeah. code has come out, I would suggest maybe actually most people don't know about it, and it's just yeah. they're just behaving the way that they would do to all cyclists. Um, yeah, yeah, but there we so. go. The next one that we did was an episode just of us um, about how to cycle in Mallorca. And this was one of our most listened podcasts, actually, it on w- YouTube. Do you know what? It was actually, it was actually quite a useful podcast, I think, yeah. for anyone who was going to be travelling there, uh, yeah. with a few a bit of advice. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was yeah. really good. Yeah. I think the Bilingo did it for me. Do you know what? I, saw that I almost TV. bought one. <laughs> It's so funny. Do you know what? I've wanted to drive one ever since and I still haven't. Every time I see them, I think of that episode. But I, I'm not sure that's what our listeners thought of. I think I just thought it was useful. But There's again, lots of other useful stuff other than try and get the Bilingo because they have to have one. In, uh, yes, brilliant. Should we fire one just for the weekend? 
Do you know what? I just drive do you know how expensive it is to hire a car at the moment? I a don't Berlingo. Think do. Who wants to I hire need, a Berlingo? I need to get a new car anyway, so... Uh, get one. Go for a test drive. <laughs> 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 that would be great. No, but... Um, so, because we started this year on YouTube, I mentioned a couple of times, like, we still have to figure out how all this camera stuff works, how video editing works and stuff. It's still not our home. Our home is more the audio stuff. We're we'll getting there. But this was, like, our m- most listened or, or viewed, viewed podcast viewed. on YouTube, which was, like, I think, 1,500, 1,000, 6,000. Wow. Uh, I people. think it was the one Just, where Mike and yeah. I turned up to in here, yeah. and we were like, wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like Look what All Neil's has cameras. done, and Neil's like, "Yeah, I've been um, I've been working on it, and there's cameras <laughs> everywhere." And we're like, "Where do we look? What what, what do well, we now, do?" I mean, I mean, look at us now. I mean, we have a camera here, yeah. uh, we have a camera over there, yeah. we have a camera over there, yeah. uh, and we have a monitor that's to, uh, look, that's over there. We do actually have a very very professional setup. Yeah. Uh, we're just not of which just Mike don't know how to bring it all together. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. just don't know how to bring it all together. All, all done by Niels. Uh, yeah. and all done by Niels, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we just just, claw, just hold on to his back and ride the wave. Mm. Yes, absolutely. But yeah, but we've had some brilliant guests. So uh, thinking about the guests, what were the ones that stick out to you? Because uh, th- we've had quite a few through. The, which oh. ones? Like, which I had, stick we out? had Chris. Do you remember oh, Chris? I love Chris. Um, yes, absolutely love um, uh, the show. Instagram. I'm sure his tag is my running heart. Yeah, it is. So he went through... Yeah. Um, uh, Chris Lynn. Yeah, Chris Lynn discovered that he had uh, a problem with his heart uh, through an accident, a complete accident, actually crashed his bike and broke his ankle or sprained his ankle or something um, and went through like the next however many months you know, deciding whether to have different, ty- you know, different type of heart base or different valve. I think it was. Sorry, Chris, I should be more um, technical than that. But what I do know is he's had the op now. And I know there were some difficulties. Um, I think he posted yeah. them quite quite openly, actually. But I believe now things are on the up, looking positive for him. I mean, he's always positive throughout. It's fantastic, actually. Um, but looking good, and he had a, a you know a, a catch up with his consultant, and and definitely he's 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 getting he's really getting there. Oh, and yeah. I looked the other day, and it I, it reminded me, and I thought, oh, well done, Chris. Do you know what? That's just fantastic. so good. That's so good. Do you know what we should do? Uh, do you know what, what we should do? Beginning of next year, we should do a little bit of a catch up. All you know, there's so many stories that mm. stories, so many stories have not yet been written. Yeah, and just haven't some been of them finished. are still yeah. going on. It'd be great to catch up with just uh, real snippets with like yeah. five minutes with a, a load of each of our guests from last year. Yeah, I have to say, the, this episode did something to me, like personally. Like, um, I think you brought him in as a guest, and I didn't know him before. Like, not, no, not like, at all. I, I didn't know it, knew him at all, and. Often when we record our podcast, it does something to us in, in anyways, right? Mm. Like everybody we speak to, we have some kind of a connection. If you speak to someone for an hour and you look this person in the eyes basically yeah. for an hour, it does something to you. And most of yeah. the time we keep quite a good relation to most of our guests, mm. I have to say. But um, with Chris, this did something to me. Like I was really, um, over the whole year really, I was like l- checking on Instagram what he was posting up like and sending him messages and us checking like, Oh, I hope he's all right. And when there was a positive m- message, uh, so I really started caring about him. Yeah. Like, it's, like, obviously you care about people, but in, in this situation, because it was a health situation and he was such a nice guy and uh, I could relate to him because he of had his a young family. family as well, right, yeah. so um, that was one of the highlights, I think, in terms of episodes for me because it, it just impacted me in such a positive way, but also thinking more, more about, like, health, right? Yeah. And making sure you're right. Do you yeah. know about, talking it. about relatable, actually, we interviewed Charlie Berry. We, we were did. all sat oh, here, goodness, weren't yeah. we? This is the one I was going to, yeah. Yeah, we were all sat. Were well, you going to say, you go ahead, actually. No, no, I go, said go about Chris. Oh, it was, um, I always love interviewing women, I, men as well, but, it, you know, it's, it's uh, um, we always talk about, sometimes issues which are women specific which is which is always good to to bring to the the forefront and charlie came in with a story that we we we, we mostly knew about how she'd started riding and she was super successful racing for a team etc but she also um talked about some real difficulties she'd had that actually i'd, I'd admit now none of us knew about no. we weren't what we weren't no, expecting no. and i think we sat here and we were all just felt this huge rush of emotion, relatability. I, yeah. I can't describe, you can probably describe it better than I know. And it was absolutely 
Fantastic's the wrong word because it was, um, <laughs> yeah, but it's it just was so interesting and inspiring. Intense, and and it was intense. really intense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but in a good, in a really good way. Yeah, if anyone hasn't listened to it, yeah, I, I absolutely. I, loved I, it. I'm, I'm, it's not that I'm giving a story away, but I, I would say just listen yeah. to Charlie's story because it, you'll come out of it, and I think you'll feel all sorts of things, but hopefully, really inspired as well. Charlie yeah. came in just glad that she wasn't here because I would have given her the biggest hug ever. Yeah. Like yeah. this was um so basically for for you that, that don't know like a uh, uh, the partner passed away um and in this situation like I think you are something about um so what keeps you going or something like this or like what do you think of when you go riding your bike and I think to remember that it was something in the lineup that this at the time, um, she feels closest to him. Yeah, yeah. And she's riding right. her back. And oh my goodness, I, I, th- I had to stop talking because I, I was about to, um, yeah, uh, just like to break down. Um, but it, but it was, it was so powerful. So, and so thank you, Charlie, it. if you're listening to, to to have shared it with us because I think it, it, it for for many people, it, uh, yeah, it really, it really touched. Uh, I think, I think intense was the best way to say it, but it was, it really touched, and also what it. I think cycling means a lot to all of us in different ways and just what it meant to her was really just just lovely for her to share and also you know that that she's a she's a an elite athlete and she's recovering and she's going through all these different things as well at the same time and yeah, it, was it was really good yeah it was absolutely f- uh, yeah really powerful also from from the podcast point of view i think um where we want to go i think moving forward i, uh, I we, we don't want to be just always just like talking about the fun stories for us as you know, the theme is like the best stories have not yet been written. Like we want to understand more. We want to dig deeper. And um, I I would love to do more of this kind of, of uh, interviewing or yeah. like, not it's not interviewing, like conversation where we learn about more what makes people tick, what drives them, and what well, is actually the, you know. I, I, th- yeah, I think that's so probably good. the one thing that we do differently to many other yeah. podcasts is probably we do, we're in more interested behind the, at the story of the yeah. person than actually what they've achieved. Yeah. Which is sometimes embarrassing because they might have done something really amazing, and we're very impressed by it. But we're yeah. really interested about about their story. But yeah. that that brings us on quite nicely to what you're talking about. What you want to do more of yeah. is, for, you know, this is the year. This is the time of year where you set New Year's resolutions and that. Neil kind of didn't stuff. know about this that we set New Year's resolutions. What? You just said, "Oh, I forgot that you do that." Yeah, I, I, I completely forgot. Like uh, because. That, that that you do. I, I I have done that in the past. Oh, I thought it was like a thing in Germany. Don't no, no, no. I, I I just forgot this. Oh, okay. I didn't even ah. think of that. I have Scrap to that. come Scrap up the with whole one. section. No, okay. it's fine. We just we just leave it in. It's we just fine. leave it in. It's good. Uh, but it is a time when you start thinking about uh, New Year's resolutions, and perhaps we need to start thinking about what's our resolutions for the podcast. Because I, th- I guess probably the one of the one part is um, finding a way that we can do it regularly, but. Yeah with balance so that yeah. we're not yeah. flogging yeah. ourselves. Uh, yeah, I I think I mentioned to, to you guys before we started, like I have quite a long list, that sounds negative, but there is a list of people that I want to speak to and most of those have um, already agreed to come onto the show and then for certain reasons, like d- 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 all different reasons, life. <laughs> yeah, life. life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it, it just hasn't happened just yet. But I think moving forward, one thing to accomplish this is just getting better in um, uh, recording remotely. Because I think I'd, in the ideal world, most of our recordings will happen here in our little studio because we, that's where we're comfortable. But th- that's where we have beer, where the food is exactly. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but moving forward, and I think this is where we come to another episode of um, where I spoke to Alex Miller from Namibia. Mm. This is just yeah. simply not possible. No. And. We want to get you the best entertainment, and I think the best entertainment is if we every now and then sparkle in a little bit of, you know, fairy dust or like yeah. elite athletes, and they don't happen to live in our area. So this episode with Alex Miller that I did, absolutely loved it. I never thought um, it's possible to speak to him just because of, <laughs> first of all, um, the distance so far yeah. away, yeah. Namibia. Second of all. Why would he care? Why would he come onto my show or like our show? And um, third of all, well, he has been to the Olympics. He won bronze at the Commonwealth Games. Like if this little podcast from the window Wendover Woods is just rocking, knocking on the door, whoa, whoa, not whoa, whoa, everybody whoa, whoa. will. Does, op- it, does he not know we're the top? top what was it fifteen oh, yeah. percent <laughs> like yep. shared globally? Something or other? Uh, yeah, my imposter syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> 
But yeah, so again, Alex, thank you so much. And I, uh, yeah. I really feel Alex is also another person that I spoke to where I know this connection will remain. There will yeah. be more yeah, about yeah. Namibia coming. By the way, I have a couple of things confirmed for next year already. So stay tuned. Ooh. 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 I don't know about these. No, I've know. missed no, all the chat though. So yeah, read the chat. No. That's why you turned up without <laughs> without looking bling like yeah, myself like an, and an my mean. colleague here. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Mike. Yes. What's your New Year's resolution? I don't like the word resolution. I'm sure someone yeah. phrased it much better, but I can't. I've been trying to remember. So let's go with it for now, and I'll try and remember. Yeah, and yeah, I, I agree. New Year's resolutions seems bad, but it's it's broadly just because it's that time of year, kind of like what we're going to do a little bit better for yeah, next year, okay. kind of thing. Yeah. By the way, when in case Mike says to be more often on the show, let's make sure he, we get that written. <laughs> well actually that is it that is, it is in it the chat he's, he's more, yeah he's in the chat he's, he's just trying to trying to find that balance because uh, uh, I think that's the thing really is uh, there's life there's work yeah. uh, there's all sorts of other different things um, and just trying to make sure that uh, it, it all fa- it all works out I love doing this I love spending time with you guys I love yeah. doing this podcast it is so much fun we get to meet such amazing inspiring people yeah. which you know it's, we don't just take that from the podcast that you take that into your own life you don't do, you yeah, you, you know you take it and yeah. start setting yourself on being a bit more ambitious about stuff or, or or thinking you know when things are tough actually well look if i was guy stapleford i wouldn't be sat here like whinging yeah. about it i'd just be cracking on you know so all those sorts of things yeah. are, are fantastic so yeah so trying to find the time or it's not about trying to find the time it's about prioritization so yeah. just making uh, the time yeah. making the time that's 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 my big thing but also i think um when we do this uh, with our guests talking about the remote side of things we we'll probably try and do a little bit more testing before we actually do it because yeah. i know we've had a couple of times where yeah. the technology just hasn't worked that was uh, with alex also like i think it took me four weeks or so to get actually the show live because he was in uh, at his parents on the farm in namibia it, it was very poor um yeah wi-fi and stuff so i think moving forward yeah. We will optimise that. If you're on a farm in the middle of Namibia, yeah. you have an excuse. Now, I'm not going to... Right, I'm just yeah. going to say it out loud, right? We've got some fantastic guests who are amazing athletes but might not be the most comfortable with IT, let's face yeah. it. And yeah. so somehow making sure that the, yeah. the quality at the other end works. So we will see how we can how we can support our, uh, our, uh, our guests in a way that makes sure that the sound's good their end. Yeah, uh, was Charlie was actually the first time where we sent out stuff before oh yeah charles so, sounded really good yeah so we sent the microphone out and we sent the camera out um to make sure that we have like the basics covered and i think that the the, the way to do it um charlie knew what she was doing as well though she knew oh, what she was doing all the kids yeah, yeah so yeah. The, the funny bit is she still looked better than us we're, <laughs> we're great yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. She, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> her camera yeah. looked better than ours i don't yeah. quite sure how she worked that one how managed to get that to work yeah cool well, that's what about you then jen what about you for, for next year what's your uh uh, let's 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 forget about uh new year's resolution let's call it a podcast commitment oh my <laughs> gosh yeah. mike's gone into work mate actually before i say mine commitments or agreements or contract commitments is <laughs> Commit- the, the Commit- new thing before i go into that actually just looping on back to what you said for the listeners really um the amount of work that Niels puts in to this podcast i i, I honestly i've got to mention it because mike and i we literally just turn up. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. not joking. So uh, mainly I'm talking about the tech stuff, but the thinking and everything and the inspiration and the drive behind it yeah, and the push this year for, you know, I think there has been a big increase in some of the tech stuff, you know, like moving to recording. Oh and I know yeah. Niels is saying, oh, we're still testing stuff and we're doing things. But actually... I'm always super impressed when yeah, it comes yeah. out, and I know there's still stuff that we're trying. So, well, honestly, Niels, well done because we, love we you, talked big guy. We about love you. it, you and Mike less. and I are just yeah. like, wow, look yeah, at this yeah. place now. Whereas we used to have like these little. Oh, actually, we've had the same mics, but <laughs> we've had the same up. mics for a while. But um, you know, the lights and all what the about stuff. The table he's that he's built. The yeah. table. Yeah. And the kids are coming in and fiddling with all the stuff, and he still gets it <laughs> and does it, and is still motivated. And still loves yeah. it, and that your passion, Niels, comes through. I know it just sounds like I'm like, oh, Niels. But yeah, honestly, and the, the listeners don't get are you, are to you do worried, it. Are you worried you're going to get cut or something? That. No, no. Just, well, I think they <laughs> cut me. It's fine because it's been my way, last the thing that I said. <laughs> <laughs> Next but year anyway. will only be me. But yeah, yeah I just uh, thank you, Niels, because you're always yeah, driving yeah, Mike and I to 
to try and do better. We, so we do appreciate it. Thank you. We do genuinely just turn up, drink beer, we eat do. food, and we do. Well, it could be bit. all be easier if I would actually have a clue what I'm doing. So, so I think like, you do. I think you I just, do. You do. Oh well, yeah, just, it, it will get better next year, I guess. And uh, but yeah, let's see. Well, look, no, that, I have to think of my actual commitment. Yeah, oh, yeah. that was it, a commitment to the podcast. Yeah. What is your commitment? Yeah, come on, podcast commitments. Um, maybe to just re- so you know, read we're, the notes. We're all, we're all going to get tattoos of these. Just read so the chat. Yeah. <laughs> read, read the, the text. Chat. Read the chat. <laughs> <laughs> know what's happening. Well, then you too could have remembered to turn up looking like a game show host. I think I think nobody sees my, um, what's it called? Bow tie. Bow tie. Bow tie. Uh, no, no, they don't. Because Look I'm be- behind the, uh, oh, is it? the microphone. Look. I don't think anyone has seen the magnificence of this jacket either, to be fair. I don't think it comes up quite right on the uh, the camera. But uh, trust me, everybody, it's a combination. We look Shiny. like the worst. We, we do look like either, like, dumb game show. Yeah, Dumb and yeah, Dumber. Yeah, you do or look game show. Like yeah, actually, it's Dumb and Dumber, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Just, just imagine, like, this would be a good commitment. Maybe not for next year, but maybe in, like, two or three years when we have, like, our own proper studio with, like, you know, when like, we're a, millionaires. like a spinning wo- uh, w- w- what, like, wheel of fortune behind Yeah, us. yeah. I quite like that. Quite like that idea. Yeah. Actually, uh, one other thing we can we could probably mention is, I love the kit that you've managed to get oh. from uh, Anna Henderson, which is fantastic. Have uh, you seen? So this is basically oh, um, so just behind us for those that are not here, I have a helmet. Um, the team you with my helmet from Anna Henderson um, signed, and then also um, a Team GB kit that she has ridden at the um, Flanders World Championships. So um, super, super proud of that. So also one thing that I w- we want to try to do more, um, actually the guests that we speak to actually getting stuff into like, you know, like oh, pro- so guests propping have the wall bring up. something in, like um, Taskmaster where you bring yeah. your thing in and the... Um, and they leave <laughs> naked. Yeah, uh, like we want your object. Most, most surprising thing. Yeah, that's yeah. Something it, yeah. ridiculous like that they've got yeah. to bring in. Yeah, yeah, no, that would, that would be really cool because I think... Uh, yeah, we've got to uh, meet some fantastic people. So having some sort of yeah. point of memorabilia on the wall would be oh, fantastic. Be so good. But also one more thing, um, um, potentially, uh, I, I mentioned earlier, like you don't just manage yourself, you also have to manage the schedule of somebody else. And because it's three of us, you also have to manage all of a sudden the schedules of like Mike two, and two I. <laughs> so there will be next next year a couple of more episodes like the one with Alex Miller where it's just like either me and the guests or Gemma and the guests or Mike and the guests and this will be just naturally happening um, just no guest we, just because it, or it, just it, it guest. works no just the guest just the guest that might be the most interesting actually yeah yeah, yeah. We just you write yourself some here. questions, yeah. ask yourself the questions, the and then camera. respond to the questions to the camera, and then just send it yeah. through to us. Oh, if you could edit it whilst you're doing that, that'd be awesome. Please, thank you. Mm. <laughs> this could be the future of podcasting. We haven't had your commitment. What? Well, that was my commitment to the She's podcast. Going to read the chat. To read the ah, chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Um, what else? Oh, we, um, also another episode we recorded uh, was with Mark Harris. We didn't mention that one. Uh, uh, that was our know. last one. Um, yeah, Niels and I went along. It was really good. That was really fun because um, this is also one to uh, highlight because it was the first <laughs> one that we... When Milo came along. <laughs> no, yeah, yes, Milo <laughs> came along, uh, Gemma's dog, but also is a, um, a cocka dick. Uh, <laughs> a cocka... Oh, <laughs> my cocka. gosh. What's the, what's the word again? It's just a cocka poo. Oh, a poo. I, I thought... It, in, <laughs> Look, a, a dachshund is called a dackel in Germany. This is why I thought it's like a mix of a cocker spaniel and a dackel, like a dachshund. Look, there is no, no dog no, called no, a dickpoo. Can I just be very clear? There is <laughs> nothing out there called a dickpoo. Is, co- 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 uh, is it not? It's a co- co- no. co- 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 What? <laughs> Anyhow. What was it the first episode? I shouldn't have even mentioned it. What was it the first episode? Um, so usually we re- either record here or remotely. And this was the first episode that we actually recorded at somebody else's place. Uh, like on... On show. On no, like site? On site. No, yeah, on um, site. On site. And that's that was a better word. On location. On location, yes. Yeah. We were location. on location. And that was like a whole different layer of complexity. So, um, because pigeons. Sudden, with pigeons outside that were trying to come in. Echo. Uh, echo of the of the room, of the walls, because we don't have like the um, sound insulation. We don't, don't we're necessarily gonna have, have to... We're going to have to do it in a box. To, exactly. And... Um, we will try this also moving forward more often because, as an example, as a, a local cycling cafe, <laughs> uh, I don't want to give too much uh, way too much where we um, speak to 
um, where we want to speak to and we want to record at their place. So I think stuff like this will happen more often as well that we either record here, remote, or at the guest's place. Or in the van. Or in the van. Oh, in the van, yeah, oh, yeah. Do you remember? We actually, want to buy a horse trailer and make and kit it out into a recording box. Oh, yeah, that would be such a good idea. Uh, yeah. We've so, if you want to sponsor the show, we would love to buy a horse box. We've got we've got two horse trailers at the moment. We're trying to get rid of one of them, but it's we not. We can buy it. No, 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 no. Trust me, this this one is too too good to convert into something else. Okay, then not. Anyhow, <laughs> um, we have to get we have to find the link to something else now. Where do we want to go now? So we have the guests. We have like, oh, uh, Up to the end. <coughs> no, not no. yet. Let's do it. We did the commitments though. What's after the commitments? Yeah. How long do you want the episode to be? Shall we sing? <laughs> <laughs> How long do you want the episode to be? Lo- it's been an like hour. Five four minutes. Yeah, yeah, five well, more minutes. We'll three more minutes. Yeah. So we will. Then the time we wrap up and you say what else is there? Three, and sing one song. Uh. No. To a Christmas Carol at the end. Yeah. That that will instantly st- be stopped on the, the Spotify, surely. Oh. Uh, um. La, 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 la. Uh, anyway, anyhow. No, um, so, yeah. Um, I, I think to our guests, thank you so much for all the support. Um. It is thank you for making the time, the guests, really, because oh, it is yeah. time out of their... As we've discovered, quite busy lives actually, yep. um, and they've made time for us and to uh, talk to us about their story. And and um, if I'm really truthful, we don't really, on purpose actually, don't speak to them a load beforehand because we really want to, you know, hear it for the first time mm. when we speak to them on the podcast. So we don't often, you know, um, prep them very much and. It's just all pretty much live. There's a, there's a few things we, we might cut and you're swearing or something like that. But um, yeah, the guests just just open up and talk mm. to us as if they were. So really thankful for that. Actually, I have quite often really honest cut out the um, windy pops of Gemma. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. I tell you what, no one's ever farty, gonna believe old that old farty pants over <laughs> yeah. there. Absolutely, no one's gonna yeah, believe yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me too. Um, no, it's that's, why, be serious. that's why she got a new dog, it's so she can blame it on the dog more often. <laughs> it's not what it is. One thing that I want to go in line with there actually, um and so for <laughs> I'm most wondering what would be in line not, with this. Sorry. Not, not your windy pops, they are really outrageous. However Okay, carry on. Um the the like some of the guests that we, we always have a conversation afterwards and yeah. um it is so nice to hear from some of our guests that they like I, I never thought somebody would l- like to listen to my story i thought nobody would care and i think this is super interesting so um you might think like oh you know um why do these people speak to those people because it's like most of the stories are really interesting and the funny bit is like most guests don't even know that their story is no. actually super interesting no, that's true that's very true right? that, that always comes through that that humbleness that most yeah. of them have which is uh which is born of the fact they don't realize that how inspirational exactly. they are themselves yeah, but so. they, uh, but they really are. Uh, so thank you to them, and also thank you so much to our uh, our listeners. Uh, we also yeah. really appreciate any feedback you give us. So if you've got ideas of what we should be committing to for mm. for next year, if you think we should be doing it more regularly, or maybe you think we should even do it less, I don't know. But um, <laughs> stop yeah. it, yeah, just <laughs> stop. 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 Yeah, but if you've got uh, any ideas or anything that you you would like to hear, uh, athletes you'd like to hear from, yeah. parts of the industry you'd like to hear from. Um, yeah. It would be it'd be great to hear from you. We've got uh, loads of different contacts now and yeah. people that we built up, and we can get people together and, and perhaps ask some of the questions, perhaps to the industry, to athletes, uh, or to organisers that that you would like to hear answers to. One thing that actually I got feedback for um, from one of our listeners, and I, I really like the idea of that, is when we speak to like people that ride in the pro peloton or like on the elite level, to actually ask them stuff like. Um, Okay, uh, you know, truth to be told, who is the biggest dick in the pro peloton, or like, who is the funniest <laughs> person, or who is one, who is one person that you really don't like? It's not necessarily. Uh, some of this stuff might not go in line with like our our values. Our values, yeah, the <laughs> nice guys. But I think, you like know, the inside scoop. I would they like to get scoop. stuff like that done. Like, um, who who who? I don't know. Like, who tells the weirdest jokes or something like that? 
to get a little bit of like a life out of the peloton. So okay. maybe we do that. I think I think things that's a great idea is to hear any cyclists that want to come on and give us the inside scoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think actually no uh, things like uh, who's the most chatty and who who sort of says jokes or the most fun yeah. or does the practical jokes that kind of stuff is always really yeah. interesting because whenever you see. Um, people being interviewed nine times out of ten it's before the race yeah. uh, that you see the most interview they're really focused and really serious yeah. and then when you see them after the race you only normally only interviewed the normally it's only the winner isn't yeah. it yeah. Uh, who's so emotional and just over the all over the place so yeah that's a great idea yeah let's so. see if we can get some more more insight on what they're like so we'll definitely try that yeah well i tell you what the other thing we need to do is start uh, well for me and you mate we need to start riding the bike a bit more don't we yeah yeah Oof, my goodness stay in touch with the audience yeah yeah well, the audience might not all be cyclists, much be interested in it, but yeah, kind of. But if yeah. you look at like some experts on cycling, most of them don't look like cyclists, right? Well, they, they used to cycle, and we can exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we can re- so we can basically say we are former former cyclists. I think you're always a cyclist. <laughs> you're always a cyclist. I, I, you can't say pro. We are former. Former so and so cyclists. Former social <laughs> cyclists. I don't. Th- I don't think that's got the same sort of like. Uh, credibility ring to it as the former yeah. pro yeah. like i have confidence that when the time is right you will both be back on the bike yeah but also yeah. Uh, just to, to round this up we are not armchair cyclists we are not uh oh, sorry armchair experts we, we 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 never pretend to know what's no, no, going no. on really. no 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 we, we just not want experts. to understand how that all no, works right? not experts. so well, i mean we are probably more experts in armchairs these days so uh, it, no, but to, yeah. okay no it's our, our chance if there's a very new listener to us that has never listened to us. How would you explain what we actually are? What as a podcast or a person? Like as, as a as a as a podcast. As a, group, like, a podcast. So I I would say, say a toddler, like a group of toddlers who's just trying to figure out how the world works. Okay. Any advance on that, Mike? Um, no. Okay. I actually <laughs> was speaking to someone about the podcast today. Okay. Mm-hmm. A generous, generous story. A colleague actually, so to be, you know, half professional. And um, I said uh, the podcast was good. I said it it was professional. Yeah. Should I said that. I said especially the quality. Oh. Audio uh, or video? Um, the audio, I oh. said. The yeah, audio. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, oh, I also thought about, okay, what type of what what is it for? What type of people? I promise you, this is not lined up. I did this. <laughs> um, what type of people? And I said, you know what? We always just speak to people who have really interesting stories to tell, yeah. and it it may be it's always around cycling. They might not be a cyclist, yeah. but generally, it's to do uh, you know around that you know the highway code, um, the Olympics. The I know that's cycling, but yeah, something like that. Um, and that's that's kind of where it's born from. We're just always really interested as hosts to listen to what they've got to say. Because if we're not interested in what they've got to say, we don't want them to so if, if you If you ride two wheels, or one, <laughs> <laughs> or anything we to might do want with. to speak to you. Yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. yeah. And I guess that is bringing all the way around to uh, what the Velocino Cycling Podcast is about, which is all about the stories, yeah. and it's all about the stories that have not yet been written. Da-dum. Oh, uh, first, by the way, also, uh, I want to say thank you to our followers for investing the time to listen to us. And if you're still listening into this episode, well done. Well done. Well, well done. This is a very draggy. We've managed to talk Niels out of the singing Christmas carols. You will all be pleased to hear. Exactly. So, yeah, thank you so much to all of you. If you want to support the show, click like uh, on ev- whatever platform you like, uh, listen to uh, us and then um, share it with all your friends. Tell everybody about us. Um, the more listeners we get, the more fun we have. Uh, the more opportunities we have to speak to better people um, and not better people, but more people, you know what I mean? And yeah, yeah. Um, stuff like this. So um, that's saying that. So to all of you that celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to all the others celebrate. Um, happy festive season. Have a, have a good season. Happy uh, not being at work. Yeah, 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 exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we do hope that just like me and Niels, well, and Gemma who hasn't stopped, you will get on your bike over the festive season. Um, get out with some friends. Enjoy the time that you spend with them. Um, and it's be- create some more stories because... The best stories... Have not yet been ridden. da <laughs> La-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-
Does anyone know? Lo, 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 the words. La, 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 sending up on dance under the table. Are you hey! actually filming this? Oh my gosh. Please put this in on the mic. <laughs> you do look ridiculous. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, that man ran away. La 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 Wait, wait, wait. First of all, thank you so much for tuning into our previous episode. It really means a big deal to us and I hope that you have enjoyed what you've seen. This leads me to number two. If you would like to support the channel, please hit the subscribe button, click like or comment down below. Why? Because this will feed the algorithm so other viewers will find it easier in the future. And for you, if you don't have enough of us already, why don't you click on this side or on this side to watch some more of our other episodes. Thank you so much from everybody at Bilocino and see you next time. Go out, ride your bike.